Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So I wanted to make today's video really nice and chilled and super, super relaxed. So it's just going to be like a really chatty get ready with me showing you the products I'm going to be using this morning on my skin. You know, grab your cup of tea, grab your hot drink of choice or grab your cool drink if it's a nice hot summer's day and put your feet up and just have a bit of relaxation and a bit of me time. So I've already cleansed my face using the simple micellar facial wash in the bathroom and that is just a fantastic product just to really sort of take off the you know overnight products that have been sitting on my skin and a bit of sweat and a bit of dirt and that's just grim saying even saying that but yeah it's just really nice and gentle and it's effective at the same time and so affordable we love that and i've got some new products that you might not have seen on this channel before and we're just going to go through them step by step talk vaguely about the ingredients list and the benefits of the skin and we're just gonna yeah have a catch up and obviously talk about this situation on my skin yeah, I know, it's not pretty at all. So first of all, I've got the Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha Vitamin D Chill Mist. And Sweet Chef is a brand that is actually a sister brand to Glow Recipe, which is really interesting. And I think I bought this on Court Beauty for about £15, if I'm right in thinking. And I really did have quite high quite high expectations for this. However, I'm sort of really underwhelmed. Um, if you would watch my... I can't remember what video it was now, but it was talking about like a spray mechanism. Which video was it? Oh god, I don't know. But I was talking about like mist being a non-essential but essential part of my routine and like I wanted like a really good spray application. And this is this spray application, even though it does cover quite a bit of the face, it's quite weak and I kind of like a you know a powerful but not overly powerful facial mist. I'm like so picky when it comes to them. But when, if I'm wanting to spend my money on, you know, a facial mist, then I need it to be good, you know what I mean? And it does have a good ingredients list. And the ginger kombucha ingredient in this product is rich in probiotics, and it's really good just to help maintain a healthy skin and sort of promote a healthy skin barrier as well, if you get me. And it's really good at soothing the skin and also improving the texture and, you know, just giving your skin a bit of a glow. The vitamin D, obviously, is a fantastic, like, antioxidant against free radicals and stresses and everything and it's just going to really help support further a healthier skin barrier so yeah it's not my favorite like facial mist out there i don't think i'll be repurchasing this really at all <laughs> but it's all right i mean it's got some really good ingredients in there it's not just like a water facial mist but it's kind of like I, yeah, I want an overall package, you know what I mean? <laughs> Next we've got the Cosrx Triple Hyaluronic Moisture Ample. And you've recently seen this in um, my staff on a haul, but it's so fantastic. It's got the three different forms of hyaluronic acid in there. So it's got you sodium hyaluronic, it's got hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, and also it has got normal hyaluronic acid in there. And it's just so incredibly grey and oh, just really refreshing and just hydrating and plumping the skin. It looks like I'm wearing a workout top, which I am, <laughs> but I've got like a, a, a big massive bruise here. I think I must have done it at work or something, but it's turned like that horrible yellowy bluish colour and I just don't want to obviously like um, show it on camera because I think that will just be like, uh, that will personally put me off watching my video <laughs> if I've got a massive bruise there. So I just thought I'd whap this um, workout top on that I haven't used in like a year because I don't work out oh god um, but yeah that's that's the outfit for this video <laughs> and then next I'm going to go on with the glow recipe watermelon glow PHA plus BHA pore tight toner and um, this is absolutely fantastic product and it's re I really really do need it today but Rashawn from glow skin kite over on Instagram actually chose this product for me for a video I did quite a while ago now <laughs> my skin is feeling super super congested because I'm wearing a mask like so many hours in the day from work and I'm just feeling really, really stressed recently and my anxiety is you know, kind of through the roof, I'm feeling like. I've been trying to hold it in and I go through like stages of being okay and then I'm not okay and then I'm just sort of kind of feeling a bit low. It's just feeling really congested and my T-zone as well is just feeling kind of bumpy and really textured. So I'm just sort of really trying to gently exfoliate my skin and even though it is the morning and usually I'd use exfoli exfoliating acids in the evening I'm not really going out today I'm just editing a video and you know doing some Instagram work and 
yeah and that is all I'm doing today so I'm just kind of kind of take this opportunity while I can and really sort out my skin because it is in need of some TLC and obviously wearing a mask has really not helped the situation of my skin but I really do think my skin as of late is definitely down to my mental health um it's been obviously something that I've been battling with for a very long time now and I've been on antidepressants for how many nine months now like like on a daily basis and during lockdown and the, like the pandemic and stuff I obviously went on a high dosage of antidepressants just because I found I was finding it you know really difficult to cope with being at work and being in that sort of environment and sort of been around people that just really didn't care about anyone else I just really did find it very difficult for me and I just even though I am still on antidepressants and will be for a very long time I kind of just as of late for the past couple of weeks not really been feeling myself and definitely showing on my skin so I'm definitely trying to eat a lot more healthier I do eat healthy anyway but I do like you know like chocolate I do I do like chocolate and crisps and all of the kind of the bad things that you shouldn't eat but I kind of balance it out with healthy things but I should just really concentrate on the healthy things um so yeah like I'm I'm moved from milk chocolate to 70% dark chocolate like it is dark chocolate but it's seven, it's like 70% cacao I think <laughs> I think that's what you call it anyway but I'm sort of making different lifestyle changes just to really concentrate on my skin because I know the mask is really not helping my skin but I want to take extra measures and extra precautions and do so many like other things right for my skin so I can hopefully maintain it and really control it and yeah just hopefully live its best life and I'll just come up close to the camera and just show you the true extent of the damage on my skin currently all inflamed and irritated and there and also down here and I am not letting it affect my mental health because something that I've really been trying to push over on my Instagram on a daily basis is that this is normal like this damage is normal acne is normal spots and blemishes are normal hyperpigmentation dark spots are normal fine lines and wrinkles are normal because if you aren't currently facing that then we will all be facing that in the near future because we're aging constantly and it's just part of life but it's something that really needs to be normalized in today's social media society because so many people out there are sending the wrong message of editing and blurring their skin or face tuning their skin and sort of making their bodies thinner when people out there that are suffering really badly from you know low self-esteem and insecurity issues and you know really affecting their mental health because they don't look a certain way when that person that's posting that picture on Instagram or Snapchat or wherever on in, on Facebook or yeah wherever it's not real and the more people that are showing their true skin and their true bodies and accepting that is going to definitely help improve the lives of so many other people out there so it's really important that I show you my skin how it is now and because yeah I'm a skincare enthusiast and I love all of these different products around me and I love ingredients and I'm addicted I'm always buying skincare but it doesn't mean that just because I am a skincare enthusiast I have perfect skin because nobody has perfect skin you know I have imperfections even though they shouldn't be called imperfections because there's no such thing as perfect skin and we all basically I'm going to call them qualities of my skin but yeah like dermatologists and estheticians and you know people who are actually experts in the skincare community and the skincare world don't have perfect skin and they do face like the challenges and the hyperpigmentation and and spots and blemishes all day every day it's just one of those things where it's trying to normalize different skins and how it reacts to you know, different elements and stuff like this because yes even though I'm wearing you, you know a mask a lot in my daytime job I still get spots and blemishes and I mean I'm just waffling on here now but all I want to say basically is that having different qualities of your skin and no matter what skin tone you are um, 
and if you've got you know scarring or anything like that then don't let it define you and yes we use all of these products to try and prevent that but at the end of the day our skin is yes it's an amazing defense organ for our bodies but it's not bulletproof and there's no such thing as perfect skin it's one of those things where i just don't want it to be that thing where people lose faith in me because i have a skincare youtube channel and i talk about ingredients to really help your skin and stuff like that and yes that is true but it doesn't mean that i don't have you know challenges on my skin and breakouts and things because it definitely is affected by my mental health and and even though i've been feeling low and like up and down constantly again for the past few weeks now and yes i'm on antidepressants but it's like yeah i'm trying to trying to not be down about this because it's just not going to help anything it's just going to make it worse so just need to stay positive and any of you guys out there that are suffering from acne that from wearing a mask or acne in general or any different skin quality that you have don't let it define your emotions and don't let it you know affect affect your mental health because it it's just not going to get you anywhere and it's yeah it's <laughs> i'm waffling off now but uh, anyway like it's i need to re i need to finish my skincare routine <laughs> oh but i'm going to go in with the milano cc um which i have absolutely i do i do i do know the ingredients list but not off the top of my head i do have it somewhere i mean online but it's really a uh, really powerful vitamin c it's got this like application where it just sort of maximizes the efficiency and shelf life of the vitamin c because i mean like these like little drops and what i'm just going to do is just pat it over the blemishes like so and this will really just calm down and reduce the size of them and also make sure that they are protected and now i'm going to go on with a moisturizer and today i'm going to use a bit more of a thicker consistency so sort of like a product that i would usually use in the evening while i'm going to sleep and um, just because i know i'm not you know sort of going outside or running around at work all day and i know my skin can sort of can take a bit of a thicker consistency moisturizer so i'm going to be using the nature can hydrate moisturizer which has got 100 milligrams of cbd so it's zero percent thc it's vegan it's natural it's got aloe vera it's got shea butter and it's got also got hyaluronic acid in there um it's got hemp seed oil it's got cacao seed it's got is it got it's got avocado oil in there it's got sweet almond oil in there so it's really going to nourish and hydrate my skin but also it's really going to calm down the inflammation on my skin as well oh my god <laughs> and i also got sent some more bits from nature can so there's like this multi-use balm which is fantastic and because of my um like anxiety and depression and it's sort of been up and down recently i've um been suffering from restless leg syndrome i've got something on my lip anyway so i've been suffering from restless leg syndrome which is where like i'm like trying to get to sleep but then i'm sort of overthinking something and my legs are sort of like getting like agitated you guys probably do know what i mean when i say restless leg syndrome but it's where like literally if i have it i cannot sleep so i have just tried this um, multi-use balm by nature can and i put it on the back of my legs and it was i didn't have restless legs so i've been religiously putting that on each night because it's just something if i have a bad night's sleep then that just affects the next day entire like it's just a write-off but anyway how are you guys doing i really do want to know so please do comment or message me over on instagram and we can have a chat um how are you doing like you know have you are you got anxiety have you got depression or anything like that but even if you don't just let me know how you are doing and what you really enjoyed recently and just spread those positive vibes in our little community because i'm like actually nearly at 10,000 subscribers as i'm filming this which is just is mind-blowing like i never ever thought that would even be possible and to have such a fantastic community that we talk to each other and we share advice and on we just share a love for skincare and it's so fantastic and and to be able to have built that community is it blows my honestly it blows my mind it really does like i'm so incredibly grateful for that and for you and for this so 
please do let me know how are you doing and what has made you happy this week and what anything like that and yeah and just say hi because <laughs> I like saying hi to you guys I like talking to you guys I honestly like some of the videos that have got like um, I think my Sarah V one my nice in my video that a lot of you have probably come from is I can't respond to all of those comments because there's just so many comments in there but the other comments and especially over on my Instagram I try and respond to so many of you guys but I see all of your comments and I love heart them or like them or anything like that um, so I just think it's absolutely fantastic and I love it <laughs> um, oh already so even though I'm not going outside really today, I am sitting by the window editing so I'm just going to be using this Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 plus BA++++ Aqua Rich. Um, so this is just incredibly lightweight sunscreen, it's fantastic, a chemical sunscreen, is it a chemical sunscreen or is it hybrid? I mean I turned it around and looked but... <laughs> not my language um, I actually don't know where the box is though but yeah so really lightweight non sort of like heavy feeling on my skin or anything like that um, it doesn't I know it doesn't irritate my skin and I definitely don't want my blemishes and my spots on my skin to get sun damage so guys I really do hope you've enjoyed this video this kind of like emotional heart to heart video um, but yeah please do come and say hi and just let's have a chat down in the comments below it would honestly mean the world to me so i will see you very very soon for a brand new video and you know take care have a brilliant weekend and yeah i'll see you soon bye bye